My video last week was on the first seven days of me decluttering with the Minimal Mom workbook and it has gone so well and I think it is such a great decluttering tool. Her channel, The Minimal Mom, is so awesome and the workbook is awesome as well. I'll link those again in the description box and I thought it was so great <laughs> that she came and she watched my video and she commented on it like she is just a genuinely lovely person and I was so excited to see that she commented on my video. Anyways, I love decluttering <laughs> and I love the minimal mom. But as I was going through the footage, I came across the decluttering tools that I was talking about and it's just three simple things. A black trash bag or trash bag that you cannot see through, a tote that you'll use as a time will tell tote, preferably one that's colored so that you can't see through it, and the time will tell tote or bin is basically something that you put in there and you're gonna see if you miss it. And if you do, you grab it back out and if you don't, you get rid of it after that. And then a cardboard box for your donate items. The reasoning behind this is so that when you put something in there, you don't second guess the decision. And I went on to talk about how this is especially helpful when you're decluttering things for kids because how many times have you or I put something in that was like something that hasn't been played with in a really, really long time. You know that they don't want it anymore. I mean, a lot of times I have my kids help me with their decluttering, but sometimes I'm like, this just needs to go. Like they haven't touched it in a long time, but as soon as they see it, in the bin to go, they are like, wait, 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 that's my toy, I want it back, like, even though I haven't played with it in a long time, I want it back. And that is true, but then I got to thinking and I was like, maybe I need to hide my stuff from me. Like, I think I'm the same way, because I have done this, not often, but I have done this in the past, where I declutter and I put it in the basement to take to donate, um, or sometimes we'll do yard sales. And then later on, I look in the bin and I'm like, wait, why am I getting rid of this? Even though I made the hard decision or the easy decision to be like, hey, this has just got to go. And then I'm second guessing myself and I'm like, wait, I... I think I actually still want this or still need this or I might use it later on in the future. And wow, that's that's not great. Like then I am going back on my original decision of getting rid of something and there's probably a good reason why I'm go getting rid of it. Like I haven't used it in a long time. So I was thinking about it and I was like, yeah, hide all the stuff from me. Like when I make the decision, get it out of my house or put it in one of these things to hide it from me. And the Minimal Mom does suggest donating the stuff right away. And I think this is one of the reasons because you can go ahead and get it out of your house. Like you've already made the decision. Don't give yourself a chance to go back on that decision and bring the stuff back into your house. So, I have also seen videos of the minimal mom go and find a tote, like in her basement, and she's like, I don't even know what's in this tote. Like, I haven't opened it in a year or six months or however long it is. I don't remember what's in it. So, she's like, I already know I'm going to donate everything that is in this tote. And I'm like, Phew what? I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> so I don't think I'm to that point. But if I have that mindset, I'm like, listen, I don't know of anything that's in here. So is there anything that's actually useful or actually really important if I can't even remember what is in this? Anyways, long story short, I just wanted to make this quick video about some things that I've been thinking about in the decluttering process and the two main things are like hide my stuff from me <laughs> basically like once I make the decision don't 
let it get in my eyesight again. Like I need to put it in a tote. That's my time will tell tote. And then when it's been two months, however long I say, then I need to just go ahead and donate all the items in that bin and not even open it up and think, hmm, what, what am I going to find in here? It's if I'm going to open up and transfer it to a box to donate, I'm opening it up and I'm putting everything in the donate. Or I could even just have my husband do it and be like, listen, you need to just get rid of all that stuff that's in there for me because I know that I might like second guess myself on something. So he could help me out with that. And then same thing with the donate stuff. I need to get that in my trunk and I need to get that to the donation center as soon as possible. And then for black trash bag, I don't know if I've ever like second guessed anything that I've thrown away because at that point I'm like, it's not even worth it to donate to somebody. So like it is trash. Um, but I think the same concept can apply to this. So hide the stuff from me. And then like, if I come across a tote where I don't even know of anything that's in there, like maybe I can go ahead and say, there's probably not anything in here I need to keep. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Well, I hope that this video has been a little bit helpful. Let me know down in the comments. Um, if you have something that helps you in your decluttering process, please share with all of us. And yeah, like have an awesome, awesome day.